Today we're going to build an airtight storage container for your 3D printer's plastic filament. The core of this container is a standard 5 gallon paint bucket from any hardware store paired with a simple lid from Gamma Seal. These are available on the web at gamma2.net or from uh, any hardware store would probably have one. First, to make the core of the container, take the lid and snap it down on to the bucket. Easier said than done, so I'll do this on the floor. Once the lid is firmly in place, you can test. You should be able to simply spin the lid off leave the black ring in place. And if you look at the inside of the Gamma Seal lid, you can tell it has a rubber O-ring. This is going to give you an airtight seal for your plastic and give you a fixed space to dehumidify. Next piece you're going to need is some PVC, and I use this to make a central spindle to set my PLA and ABS reels on. So this is a five-way T of inch and a quarter uh, PVC. It is designed for making PVC furniture, PVC lawn furniture. You can find these on the web. I know Amazon carries them. That's where I got mine. If you cannot find five-way T's on the web uh, or somewhere that you can access, or if you cannot use the inch and a quarter, if you need a smaller spindle, which is very possible, uh, certainly a three-way tee with just two feet coming off the bottom is easy to use as well. Uh, the feet are really just to lift the plastic reels up off the bottom of the bucket and give it some extra breathing room. So, I've already cut my inch and a quarter PVC pipe to the height that I need to fit inside my bucket and to the lengths that I need on the feet to center the five-way tee and spindle up in the bottom of the bucket. So for the moment, I'm going to dry fit these parts. And there's my central spindle. When you fit these together, when you're measuring uh, for your cuts, be certain that you allow for the extra height of this inch and a quarter piece of PVC. It's going to raise it off the bottom of the bucket. Be sure you allow for the extra height of the domed cap. And then you'll see that once we set the spindle in the bucket, it centers itself very easily and is ready to hold your PVC, PLA or your ABS. And you'll note that my reels fit very comfortably over the cap and the central spindle, and I can fit about four of them on this in this one bucket. Uh, the cap is there not only to make it look a little finished and nicer, but to make it easier to lift the central spindle out of the bucket. Another option would be to put a three-way T on the top of this with small pieces of PVC coming out either side to give you a T handle if you're lifting larger reels out. Uh, at home I have a MakerBot fifth generation with the larger reels that are they're not heavier, they're just less wieldy and those I have put a T handle on to make them easier to grip. At this point Disassemble everything, set our plastic reels to the side, bring over our shop towel and purple primer for PVC cement. Primer each end. Be careful not to spill on anything you want. It does stain. That mark on that pipe is now permanent.
prime one end of each of your feet. the inside of your cap, <clears throat> prime the inside of each arm of your five-way T. Primer dries very rapidly and you're ready for cement. I suggest adding your feet first. Doesn't require a ton of a ton of the glue. So a quick wipe. Over the primer. And then you're ready to go. Similar wipe around the edges of the spindle. Inside of the foot, outside edge of the spindle. Join your pieces. Again, this is not a strength or pressure bearing application, so tons of glue is not necessary. You just don't want it to fall apart while you're moving your plastic reels. Make sure you work in a well ventilated space. Wear safety gloves and an apron so that you don't spill the cement on you, or the primer, which as I said will stain anything. Press your pieces together. And that's that. Now you'll need to let these dry for a few minutes. Time, we will letter our storage locker so that we know what kind of plastic is in it. Now all you need to do is uh, <clears throat> drop in your spindle, drop in a silica gel packet, a uh, dry bag or something of on that order. Uh, these again you can recycle from any other source. This one is actually too small, I have a larger one back in my office that I'll be throwing in shortly. Drop it in the bottom, set your ABS, all set. Less than 20 bucks, one finished filament locker.